Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this YouTube banner design step by step using Canva. So for a really quick overview on Canva, it is a free design software where you can create graphics, videos, and a lot more. And you can set up a free account or you can get their Canva Pro membership if you want. So for the dimensions of your YouTube banner, you're going to want the sizes 2560 x 1440 pixels. And as you can see here, Canva has a free template that you can just open up and use. Once you open up this template, now it's time to make sure that we get the sizing right. So what you're going to want to do is head over to Google. And as you can see, I just searched YouTube banner template here on Google. You're going to go to images and then you're going to download one of these templates. And this is just going to show you like the size guide so that you know where is the center of the banner. You're just going to want to right click and then just download this. Okay, so I'm back here on Canva and I'm just going to upload this photo right here. And then I'm just going to adjust it to fit the dimensions of the banner. And then we're just going to crop it up to these lines that you see. Next, I'm just going to lock this position just to kind of keep it in place. So now that we have the sizing, you see this rectangle right here in the center. This is what people are going to see on mobile. So everything you put here in the center, people are going to see on mobile. Anything you put on these outskirts, people will not be able to see on mobile. Now what you're going to want to do is go here to the elements section, and then you're going to want to upload one of their shapes that they have. And I'm just going to sharpen the border like this. Now now we're going to go ahead and change it to the color that we would like. So next I'm just going to adjust this to basically fit the size of this little template that we put down there. I'm going to position it to the back. I'm going to unlock this and then we're just going to delete it. And there we go. We have our center of the banner. This is where you're going to want to place all of your text, all your graphics. So I'm just going to lock this so that it doesn't move around. This next step is entirely unnecessary, but you guys see this like sheen right here, like this light sheen in the background. I'm gonna show you guys how to add this. So I'm gonna go here to the Canva elements section and I'm just gonna search fade. And then we're just gonna scroll down and then we're gonna open up this file. We're just gonna go ahead and angle this like right here and then just lower the opacity. That just adds a little bit of like a metallic finish to the background. I think it looks really good. And then I'm just gonna lock this in place as well. Now I'm just going to head over to their frames section i'm going to add a circle frame i'm just going to adjust it and then center it right there in the middle of the screen so next you're going to want to upload the picture that you want to use or so whatever like selfie and then you're just going to drag and drop it here over into this box now i'm heading over to their text section and i'm just going to upload one of these texts and then now we're going to type in your channel name. Okay, so now that you've typed that in, I have these on two separate text boxes. So I'm going to change the color of them to white. So I'm going to change it to this font titled Allura. And then you're just going to want to enlarge the text. And then to get both of these texts to be the same size, you're just going to copy the style and then paste it right here. Next, you're going to want to center both of these names. So next, I'm just going to add in another text box. And here, I'm going to put in the categories of the channel. I'm going to change this font to Babe is New You. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more letter spacing to it. To add your social media icons, you're just going to want to search Instagram here in their elements section. And then just upload one of these. And you can do the same with any other social media platform. So you can add the Twitter icon. I'm just going to duplicate this text, move it over here, turn down the line spacing, and then insert in a username. Once that is finished, there is one last step. I'm just going to upload this picture once again, and I'm going to put it as an overlay. Then I'm just going to position it to the front, and then I'm going to crop it to this center area. Once that's done, I'm just going to lower the opacity like this, and then I'm going to lock it. So as you can see, this text is kind of going outside of the safe area. So we're just going to want to minimize it. Next, I'm going to unlock this and delete it. And there you go. Make sure to download it in a PNG format so that the quality is the best. As you can see, once you open up YouTube and you go to upload your channel art, here is how it's going to look. So everything is going to be nice and centered. By the way, this template is available on my shop. It is a full bundle, so it includes this banner template. It includes an intro, an outro. So if you guys want to order that, that will be in my description box. I hope this video was helpful and I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.